What's going on, YouTube world? It's Jimmy C. A um, couple of housekeeping items before uh, I get started. So, um, that I'm glad everyone loves the those two websites I, I talked about, the comic art fans and uh, that uh, guy's movie. Um, I forgot to mention, I mean, it's probably self-explanatory. When you go search the site on comic art fans, you don't have to put in an artist. You could put in anything, like Green Goblin or, you know, Galactus, Silver Surfer. And everything will come up, surf that that character. And then you could sort, you know, published artwork, uh, cover pages, splash pages, so on and so forth. Uh, so that was one thing. Second, thank you. Yeah, I got about five entries for my contest. I, I tried to make myself clear. It does not have to be published artwork. A lot of people are making videos saying that's what I want. I don't want to scare people off. Obviously, not everyone has published artwork. Um, you know, some people aren't interested. It's just not their thing. But... That's my preference, but obviously not everyone has it. So if you don't have published artwork, um, show something you got done commissioned. I really, preferably, I'd rather like a, a positive story. But, you know, not everyone gets a commission and has a story. Sometimes you just give the guy money and he does what you want and that's it. So um, if you have a story to go along with it, or if you just have like a cool story with an artist or writer and has nothing to do with artwork, that's cool too. Um, and if you don't have... The published artwork, you don't have a cool story, and you don't have a commission done, uh, I give up. Just do a video about anything you want. Uh, it's uh, dealer's choice. Um, you know, just put Jimmy C. Contest, of course, and uh, and so on and so forth. Share, like, whatever. Um, okay, so on Facebook, uh, I'm, I'm, part, I'm in one of the Facebook groups. Uh, I think it's the CBCS one community. So they did a Secret Santa. So I said, oh, I'll do it. Uh, the only guideline was um, up to $50.00. You got to send some, whoever you, whoever you get. You send them up to fifty dollars worth of books. Um, so I just got my Secret Santa, and it's literally a Secret Santa because the guy didn't even put his name on the box. It just had his address, and it put it said Secret Santa in lieu of where his name would be. So I really don't know who sent it to me. So it's crazy, you know. I don't think everyone's doing that. I'm assuming when they send it, they're uh, you know going to put their name or whatnot. But anyway, I can't believe it. You know, I'm figuring, you know, people are going to send a couple of books or some swag. They're not, you know. But I guess people are really getting into it. He got The guy sent me a, a, a slab book. I have no idea what it is. So I figured, let me do a video and we'll open it together. Sorry, guys. The phone rang, so the video cut. So let's open it together. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sending... What am I sending? I think I'm sending like six or seven gold, Green Lantern books to the dude because he mentioned he likes Green Lantern. And then I'm sending him um, two heart, two two trade paperbacks of uh, Dead Man. I think you know it's worth probably twenty five dollars, thirty bucks. But like I can't believe I got a, I got a slab. So let's open it together. Uh, it's crazy. What could it be? I guess. And what am I looking for? What am I hoping? Uh, yeah, you know what? Forget it. Let's just open it. Uh, okay. What is it? It is. Uh... Oh wow. That's pretty cool. And it's... So where were we? The phone rang again. Sorry, guys. Yeah, wow. Spidey 700. It's a 9.6. White pages, of course. Brand new. but And signed by Dan Slott. That's pretty cool. Um, I feel guilty now. Uh, if I didn't send it out already, I would throw a few more books in. But, hey, you know what? What can you do? It's the thought that counts. But that's really cool. I don't even know who to thank. On a side note, I don't know if any of you guys are on Facebook, but I got kicked out of the main comic book group. It's run by a, a, a friggin' Nazi. Uh, this guy, Lynn Harrell. I'm going to shout him out because, honestly, you know, he made, like, a, a comment and I responded. Nothing bad. You know, you're not allowed to sell on the comic book uh, on this certain Facebook page. So there was somebody who was new to comics. So I said, hey, write, PM me. Write me on the side if you're interested in buying some books because they were looking for, like, uh, some comics or something. So I'm not selling. I wasn't selling. Uh, you know, I just said to the guy, write me. If you're interested, I'll help you out, obviously, offline because you're not supposed to sell. So he wrote something. I wrote, I'm not selling, guy. And no response, no nothing. No, like, he didn't delete it. He just kicked me out of the group and blocked me. So I can't even write back to him. So, you know, from where I come, that's that's a punk. You know, I enjoyed being in the group. I'm not going to lose sleep over it, but I just figured I'd let you guys know. Lynn Harrell, he's a punk, and that's my opinion. And if one of you knows, please do tell him I said so. Uh, okay, but back to the positive. So um, that was really great. So now you see, guys, I, I showed this in um, Murphinator's uh, contest video. 
And um, the reason I'm showing it again is because uh, I went hunting and uh, look what I happened to become the proud owner of. How friggin' awesome. I wrote the guy who has it, who had it, and he was willing to play ball. I couldn't believe it. So like, oh my God, how sweet is that? Now you see, look, um, they added a few things digitally. If you see the pumpkin bomb, and it, it's not there, but you know, it's there's the, you know, whatever, the, the sketch outline. But like, oh my God. I'm the proud owner of two sick Goblin covers now. I love Goblin. And speaking of which, uh, there's actually a site, another website, sorry, uh, I don't want to drive you guys nuts, but um, it's called uh, The Goblin's Hideout. It's everything and anything Goblin. This guy, I tell you, talk about dedication. It has like the top covers of all time, it has like Goblin's life story, Norman Osborn, everything. It's sick. Uh, if you like Green Goblin, so check it out. If you don't like Green Goblin, then don't don't bother. But uh, so let me tell you, like buying art is oh my god. Do you think comic books uh, bartering is hard and uh, negotiation? First off, most of the guys who buy the comic art, they're well off. So when they buy stuff, it's a black hole. They rarely sell. If they like it or love it, you're never going to see it again. Oh, well, you'll see it on the page, but you're never going to be able to own it. And if you're interested in something, and they want to, first they have to be willing to want to move it. And if you get a guy who's like who does want to sell something, they never give you a price. Well, they do, but it's very rare. Most of the time, they go make me an offer. So it sucks. Like you know, you don't want to make it too low, and then they're insulted. You don't want to make it too high and overpay for something. So. It's a delicate uh, dance. So uh, the guy was open to it. So he said, so he told me, name an offer. What do you want to pay me? So I told him, I said, listen, I got, I got my other Goblin cover for 400 bucks. That's a variant. Uh, that's a one shot book. Obviously, um, this image was, used. oh yeah, sorry. This, so, so this image is used. It's the splash page of issue 128. Then it's the cover of the second print. And it's also the cover of the third print, which is the third print. The second print is this, but in color. And it's also used on uh, the Goblin toy, like I think the Marvel Select toy. It's the side artwork of the box. So this image has been used four times published, so it's awesome. Um, anyway, so I told him, listen, I paid 400 for the other one. I think yours is uh, 800 is a fair offer. And he, he wrote back, you know, a lot of these guys are really nice. So he wrote back, um, you know, you're, we're close. So he, he said 975 Oh, he said 950. I said I'll meet you halfway. Uh, you're at 950. I'm at 800. I'll do 875. And he says, okay, deal. Throw 25 dollars more for shipping and to help with the eBay, the the PayPal fee. I said, boom, done. So I got this cover for 900 bucks. Uh, I'm so happy. And you know, I never thought he was gonna let it go. So that's a little insight on when the you know wheeling and dealing with the with the art dealers. It's much different than the books because it's so subjective and it's it's it's. It's art is like how if you love it, you know, you're going to pay whatever you can, you know, you know, sometimes it's out the window. People overpay. Just last night was uh, the Comic Link auction. Uh, the first page from Hulk 102 went uh, to splash page of Hulk by uh, Marie Severin and somebody else did it with her. It went for like f almost $16,000. I'm sure ETA Nick will have his review up uh, shortly in a couple of days. I love uh, when he does that. But anyway, Jimmy C, um, hope you guys have a chance to do my video. Look at my awesome goblin cover. Now I got two. I also got the the one where he, his head maniacally laughing. That's about it. Signing off. Take care, guys. Oh, man, it's great.